Hi, Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. I hope y'all are doing well as always. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And leave me a comment to let me know how this reading resonates with you, how you're enjoying the channel. Whatever you want to express without telling too much of your business, okay, on this here internet. All right, you guys. So, shout out to all the new subscribers. Shout out to everybody from wherever you're coming from, whatever city, state, zip code, country of origin that you are in or are representing. Shout out to you guys. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started, Pisces. What are the messages for Pisces at this time, Guardian Angels? Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, Father, Mother, God. What are the messages that Pisces needs to know at this time? What is it that Pisces needs to know at this time? What are the messages for Pisces at this time? Whatever cards that you want to come out. This one, too. Whatever cards for Pisces. What ooh, are the messages? Four of Wands was like this. So, it's kind of everywhere. Okay. What are the messages for Pisces at this time? Bring your angels. Bring your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Ooh. Ooh. Isn't it funny how the cards just come out how they want and it just be lining up? Okay, I'm going to stop being ghetto. So, Pisces, all right. Here, the first card that you have out is the Three of Wands, Pisces. You also have the Six of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands in reverse, Justice, and the Hangman. At the bottom, we have the Nine of Wands. And, ooh, the High Priestess. Ah. All right, so, Pisces, overall, I feel like this message is uh, basically confirmation for you to protect yourself, Okay. Protect your energy at this time. Protect your third eye, your spirit, your crown, any chakras, okay? But, ooh, my stomach growling. I got a mango over there. I'm going to eat it. Um, but, yeah, it's protect yourself, Pisces. Use your intuition as protection. Use your intuition to guide you. Use your intuition to overcome obstacles. This is about how your intuition can literally get you whatever it is that you want. Okay. Um, I do feel like some of you guys have just decided to block somebody without letting them know you're not telling them because you're trying to protect your damn sanity. Um, and I just feel like this person has abused you in some way or made you feel bad in some way. They've hurt you. Um, And that's just too much. It's like, you're just not going to take it anymore. You're protecting yourself from a, from snakes. You're like protecting what it is that you have from snakes. Maybe you're deciding that you're, excuse me, not going to communicate with any new people right now. You're just going to stick with the people who you know you can trust uh, at this time. That may be what you need to do. Um, I do feel like you are expecting something uh, to move forward soon, or you're expecting some type of like transportation. Like you're, I feel like you're expecting either something to come in or you're expecting to be able to send something out or move. Um, I feel like you're waiting on forward progress, but right now things are kind of like on hold. Things are kind of stuck. You may feel stuck. You're just deciding that you're not moving forward with something here. That's kind of what I feel. You're waiting to move forward. It's like you're deciding not to move forward with something here. You're deciding not to move forward with a relationship because you're realizing that's the right thing to do. Okay, because I feel like the, these little trees are growing up from her head. Like, I don't know. you. I feel like you got some type of download about somebody's, like, nature or 
I don't know. It just feels like you're just holding back. Like you're holding back your emotions. You're holding back your love. You're holding back your energy. Some of y'all could be like waiting on a bus, a train, a Uber. Some of you could also be just deciding to like hold back on like going places. Like you may just be staying in. Like you're trying to save money. You're trying to preserve yourself, trying to preserve your energy. This could be because you just financially can't do a lot of the things that you want to do. Um, so you're just saving right now. You're just trying to maybe maybe you're saving up to move as well. Like some of you could be waiting to move and you're kind of like trying to save your money to make sure you have enough. Um, but I do feel like you are being very frugal because it's like mm, you realize that in order to get what it is that you want, it's like this is what you have to do. You have to hold back from something or you have to stop yourself from doing something. OK, this could be, you know, stopping yourself from eating a particular food, spending money, going to a particular place, using a particular service. Wow, them trees blowing hard as hell. But it's like, you know, you have to, um, you know, you have to cut this back. Like cutbacks. Some of y'all may have taken a pay cut. Okay. I don't think it's a setback. I just feel like it's a, a step back. Like you decided to step back from someone here in a situation. But it's not a setback. It's actually something that's going to actually help you move forward. You were guided to do this so you can move forward peacefully without somebody maybe stressing you out or without somebody causing uh, drama in your life. The four of wands reversed, the justice and the hangman. To me, it's like you have realized that moving on from someone is exactly what's best for everyone in the situation. Like, this would not be a good situation. And you know why it wouldn't be a good situation? Because the situation was imbalanced. You're realizing that a relationship is imbalanced. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be platonic. But you're just realizing that there are certain relationships in your life. It could be more than one people. More than one person. Ooh, more people, whatever. It's just not right. I feel like there is someone who wants revenge on you because you decided to break up with them or block them. They want you to get your justice, but your justice is not by not being with them. You did get your justice already. Um, and I feel like you did the right thing. Like, I feel like this is what you were guided to do. Somebody's holding a grudge about it or they're upset about it. And that's probably why you blocked them because you knew from your intuition that they were probably the type of person that would try to uh, abuse you in some way um, if they did not get their way. Okay, it's like they, you know, they they took more than they received already. So it's like you don't have time for that. And I feel like the right thing the the right thing for you to do was to move on or to move forward, and that's what you did, or that's what you're about to do. So don't second guess yourself on that. Because somebody wants to throw a temper tantrum. Like, literally, it's people out here lately, Pisces, who've been really throwing temper tantrums. Like. I really be thinking folks out here really do need pull-ups. Like, they need to go get some huggies because they act like babies. It's like somebody wants to expose you or get you caught up or somebody feels like you being stuck would be fair for whatever. I don't know. It's like they it's like they want to hold you back financially or they, they want to keep you from being able to make money. They want to keep you from being able to work, um, do what it is that you need to do. But you're blocking this person. You've already blocked this person. You already felt the need uh, to protect yourself in this situation. And there's nothing that this person can do about it. And I don't think, dang, my whole deck just fell on the floor. I don't even think that whatever this person wants as far as revenge is going to work. Like, that, it's not it's not going to work. Like, whatever they want, whatever they want to do, they're unhappy. Look, this is the, these are the cards that just fell on the floor. Ten of cups in reverse, nine of cups in reverse, 
Six of Swords upright, which is right there. The Magician. The Chariot. The King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. That's what just fell on the floor. So somebody is unhappy. Okay, Nine of Cups. I feel like someone's illusion did not work with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, Someone didn't get their dream. Someone didn't get their wish. Okay, and they're unhappy about it. That you decided to, you know, move on from this. Because see what it is, the King of Wands... Whatever somebody was approaching you with, Chariot, King of Wands, whatever they were approaching you with, with this magician, they were coming with this magician. Really, really. I'm, I'm going to try to just put it all in one line because this is what I feel. I took the deck out about to clarify and I don't even need to clarify. I'm not even going to clarify. I'm just going to let y'all know what this is straight up. Somebody tried to create an illusion, Pisces, for you with whatever that they were bringing towards you. And I'm going to show you why. The illusion failed. Ten of Cups in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse. You didn't get what you wanted either. Because the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups is your card. Okay? Those are your cards for Pisces. Eight, nine, and Ten of Cups. Whatever deacons, I don't know for sure. But those are your cards. Okay? We already have Libra out here with the Justice. Pisces uh, with the Hangman and the High Priestess, right? Then we have Pisces again, possibly with the Queen of Cups or Cancer, because you got Cancer here. Gemini with the Magician. Okay. Maybe Aries. You got the Three and Four of Wands. So it could be Aries, but first of all, it could be Gemini more than anything. Then you have Aries, possibly. Both of y'all do got a little power. Both of y'all got a little manifestation power, right? Could also be maybe Aquarius. I was going to say Scorpio, but I don't really get Scorpio. So if anything, this magician, number one, a Gemini, an Aries, or an Aquarius. You, Pisces, possibly Libra, Cancer. Oh, wow. And the star card. And that's funny. It was reversed. So whatever somebody hoped for, they did not get it. I also feel like someone didn't believe in you with the star card. They did not believe in you or they didn't believe that you were telling the truth. Or because they didn't believe in you, they weren't completely upfront with you with whatever this is. Um, it's like they, I don't, I don't know. It's like they, they tried to like, Break down your willpower. That's what I feel with this star card in reverse. Someone who's hopeless. Seven of Wands in reverse. Someone who doesn't believe in themselves. Who's hopeless and doesn't believe in themselves. This is who this person is. They could also be a Leo because the star is in reverse. But like I said, Gemini, Aries, Aquarius. Possibly Libra, Cancer, Leo, maybe. But what I, I, I really don't feel that is my, I feel like it's more so like uh, Aquarius or Leo energy is maybe in your chart or something like that. I, I don't know, but it just kind of feels like, I'm going to tell you what happened. Somebody's illusion didn't work. Somebody was already unhappy in a family situation, family dynamic. They were unhappy with where they were living, who they was living with, who they was in a relationship with. They weren't getting what they wanted from where they was at, Right. And they came in with this illusionary behavior already. They they came into the situation already trying to get over something else with this Six of Swords. This Six of Swords is like, yeah, I'm leaving from a tumultuous situation to a calmer situation. But I still got these swords in my boat and the boat might sink. So I'm not out of the woods yet. I'm still dealing with whatever I'm coming from. So this person was still dealing with whatever the fuck they was dealing with over here. Where somebody was very selfish, very smug. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe they didn't, maybe they were in a relationship where somebody didn't want a family. They wanted a baby. The other person didn't want the baby. I don't know what it is, but somebody was leaving a family dynamic where they were unhappy and they weren't getting what they want. They were leaving a relationship that was full of illusions and, uh, uh, everybody was being selfish and they weren't getting what they want. So they were frustrated. So they moved on to try to find calmer, smoother waters. 
they reached out to you, they approached you, they asked you for your number, whatever this magician is, is them approaching you, reaching out to you. They're coming towards you with this magician. They're coming in fast. Trying to manipulate the energy to get what it is that they want. They're trying to manifest what it is that they want. Manipulating the energy doesn't mean they're necessarily manipulative. But it does mean that however they're thinking is going to determine what the reality of the situation is. So I feel like this person was already coming into the situation unhappy, unfulfilled. Which kind of with this energy leads me to believe that they felt like in some twisted way that they were entitled to some type of uh extravagant treatment i feel like this person was down and out seven of wands reverse star reverse i feel like this person was very hopeless in their life in the situation and you know what people think is what they create so i feel like this person tried to create what they wanted but they were manifesting from a place of hurt and loss and hopelessness and just low vibrational energy so they came towards you with all this low vibrational energy. And I feel like you as the king of wands, queen of cups, you like, bitch, I've been there, done that. I've been there, seen all that. I see what you coming with a mile away. Like someone is confused about which direction they want to go in with this chariot. That's what that is. It's like, for me, the chariot, yes, is a card of fast movement. Could be travel. This definitely could be travel, like a trip that you took with this person or Maybe they're in a different city, state, or zip code or something like that. But um, what this is to me is someone trying to get what they want really fast, but not really knowing like what it is that they want or not really knowing how to get what it is that they want. Because their mind is all in different directions. Like the, the sphinxes right here, they're facing out different ways. So if you're riding in a chariot and one sphinx going this way, one going this way, where the hell are you going? You, you're going to be... Pulled all around. You don't know which way you're going to go. This person didn't know if they was coming or going. They just tried to rush in. Probably with a lot of passion. On some sexual shit. Or like just on some real casual type of stuff. That was you know immature. Because they were feeling unfulfilled. They were feeling hopeless. And they were feeling insecure. So they naturally wanted to build up their confidence. By, I guess, stepping to you or approaching you, Pisces. But see, now they mad because I feel like you blocked them. And in the same breath, I feel like this could also indicate how you blocked this person. How they made you unhappy. How they didn't give you what it is that you wanted. Or you didn't give them what they wanted. And you moved on to something better, something that you know is going to be better for you. Because I feel like for you, this is upright. Because you have the Nine of Wands and the High Priestess. That's why I feel that. And I feel like for you, you do have a lot of hope. You do feel a lot of inspiration. You have a connection to Source. You're able to let go of this and pour all of this out because you know you were right in the situation. And somebody else know that they wrong. But see, I feel like they want to get some type of like, I don't know. It kind of feels like this person wants to get some type of like revenge uh, towards you. Or it's like, damn, I, I hope Pisces pay for this. But you came at me all, all cockeyed and shit. Your sphinxes is cockeyed. You don't know which way they looking, which, which way they going. Not only is the chariot about fast movement, but it's about making a choice to move in a particular direction and having faith and, and clarity to understand that you're going in the right direction or, or that you're being led in the right direction because this is where you're meant to go. But you have to make that decision in order for things to move quickly. And I feel like this person wanted to make things move quickly, but they didn't know where it was that they were going or they didn't make it clear where the relationship was going between the two of you and you just didn't want to deal with it. Or it's just someone who's just being very confusing and I just feel like y'all are done dealing with people who are confusing. What else does Pisces need to know? In this situation, we have time. Time is of the essence. There's an important time period or particular date that's coming up. So somebody feels like time is of the essence. I don't know what this particular date is that's coming up. But um, someone may feel like they're running out of time. This person may like like watches. They may like 
uh, nice watches or they may know a lot of name brand watch brands or have a lot of name brand watches uh, or wear watches, whichever kind they are. Um, but somebody feels like time is of the essence. Time is running out. And there's an important time period that's coming up in your life. They may know that you're about to blow up on something. Okay. What else does Pisces need to know in this situation? Mm. Holidays, a specific holiday may be important. Okay, so that could be the time frame that's coming up. Someone may be trying to uh, save money to come and see you for, for the holidays, Pisces. They may want you to come in town. They may want they they may want to come in town and visit you. I feel like this could also be this person. It's like it's like they're angry right now, but in a short time, they're gonna be feeling dumb. And I feel like they're gonna be feeling dumb because they did something very manipulative towards you. And I feel like they're gonna want to come in town and visit you. Uh, they're not gonna try to stay at your house though. They're gonna get a hotel. I feel like someone is gonna come in town or they're waiting until the holidays to come visit you or waiting until a specific holiday to come into your city, right? Um, they, whatever, I feel like they, they also could be waiting till they get paid to purchase a ticket to come see you. They may not necessarily wait. I mean, the next holiday coming up is Halloween. So I don't know what this person has planned, but it's like somebody is waiting for this holiday to come so that they can come into your town or so that they can fly you to their town to make it right. They want to make it right. Justice and the hangman. It's like, but right now they're not at that point yet. They're about to come at this realization that they look dumb and they're going to try to make it right. Okay. Either because they're unhappy about the way things ended or they're unhappy that they made you unhappy or they know that they need to make it up to you right? But right now they don't want to do that. Right now they're being stubborn. Yep. Defensive. I knew it. You may have to be, def you may have to defend yourself. Also, someone could be very defensive. That's what I'm saying. But in a short time, I feel like by the time Halloween comes, this person is going to be trying to come and see you and visit you and make it right. I also feel like they could be waiting until they get paid or trying to save up some money so that they can come and visit you. Yeah. Deadline. A deadline is approaching. Also a deadline could be missed. So I don't know. It feels like this person's life is kind of going in different directions where they really don't have a lot of control on what's going on. And they feel very defensive because they feel like they're out of control. Um, so they try to control situations. And I feel like they tried to control a situation with you um, and it did not work. Okay. Like they couldn't control you, Pisces. That was dumb. You'll never be able to control the Pisces. Like, you might be able to fuck with their head for a minute and, and and have the illusion of control over a Pisces, but you really can't control a Pisces. You can't control nobody. But you really can't control a Pisces, okay? What is the advice for Pisces in this situation, y'all? If I, if I sound a little irritated, y'all, it's just because I'm doing like this little cleanse and fast and I'm irritated because I'm hungry, okay? Sorry. What is the advice for Pisces? Oh! Oh, my whole sweet up, bitch. You got fucked up. Okay. Uh, Y'all know I got ADHD. Not ADHD shit. I don't have anything wrong with me. But I like things to be organized, okay? 111. It says, angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. I am creative. So, yeah, so whatever you're moving away from, Pisces, I feel like the universe is supporting that. Um, whoever you're defending yourself from, whoever you're healing from, excuse me, I feel like the universe is supporting you in that. And you're realizing that through whether or not the situation actually transpires. It's like you're starting to realize that if you're able to accomplish things, then the universe supports you. And if you're not able to accomplish things and it feels like you're pushing it or forcing it, you know that it's not something that's meant for you. So I feel like that's a lesson that you're learning. That's the advice that you're being given. And that's what the universe wants you to know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. As always, Pisces, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. 
I hope to see you guys on the next reading. Anything you guys need to know is below. And remember, Pisces, this is our circle booze. Bye.